where we're at today. We are at a brand new business on Main Street called Fox and Crow Dry Goods. But what we want to introduce first is this new video program that we have going on through the Tourism Facebook site. It's um, Shop Talk. We're going to be getting up close and personal with our genuine merchants in Smithfield and Isle of Wight County. So I hope we hope you'll look for us once a month, generally the third Thursday of the month, and we'll be doing shop talk and introducing you to proprietors and, and other merchants and talking to them face to face about what they love about what they do. So, All right, we're gonna go inside. Okay. Come on in, Connie. Following you. All right. Hope everyone's having a great summer. We are. Here we are. Hi, Fox Kelly. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. This is Kelly Houlihan. Nice she, to meet you. She is the, the uh, owner. Uh, Proprietress. Proprietress. Yes, I do love that. Of um, Fox and Crow Dry Goods. So, Kelly, um, we're going to just take a little stroll this way. Okay. Come back to okay. the front. But i um, wondering when you opened your shop. So we opened on May 8th, um, that was the second Saturday for Smithfield, so it was a big deal. Mm -hmm. We made sure we were ready for second Saturday, mm -hmm. and um, been going very well ever since. Great, great. What made you decide to come to Smithfield, because I know you live in Norfolk. I had worked in Smithfield for over four years for a local business, and myself and my dad did a lot of business here, we owned our landscaping company. so. Uh, the space opened up and it just seemed like everything aligned and it was the perfect place to be. Plus, it's uh, very close to my heart. I love Smithfield. Yes. And I love downtown. So. It's very easy to love downtown. It's very Smithfield. easy. Yes. Okay. Well, this is just one of the rooms that Kelly has. Um, what would you describe your business as? So, I carry vintage items. Um, we try to search out and find items that we think will be not only beautiful or uh, fun to have, but they'll be functional. I like to try to find pieces that people will actually be able to use and enjoy in their home. Um, and sometimes it's things you just want. <laughs> sure. But um, I started pretty early on bringing in different um, craftspeople and artisans from the region and um, offering their items as well. And up to date, um, I have 15 different um, craftspeople and artists mm -hmm. um, in the shop. And um, as you can see, it's all over the place. I've got stuff everywhere, and I like to have it kind of intermingled with all of the vintage. I think it gives a good representation of what we have. It does. Um, we're trying to create a guy's alley here, so uh, we're going to be working that up so there'll be more for the men to do instead of sit on the bench in front. That's right. The patient has been shopper yes, bench, yes, right? Exactly, exactly. So, so this is the main part of the store. I have a lot in this front room, but we're going to be expanding into the other room as well. So, Well, can you show me something that is just in, something that's one of your newest offerings? So something I'm really excited about, there is a local artisan, um, her and her husband make these incredible bird houses from hand. So her husband does the, um, the building and she does the painting and the antiquing to these products. Um, I have a beautiful Ooh. another, this tall, gorgeous one right here, and um, I, I just love them. She is really um, excited to have them in the shop, and um, I would like to push, you know, her product, mm -hmm. because I think it's absolutely beautiful, and they put a lot of love and what, care into it. What is her name? Her name is Kelly Shooter, Okay. and um, her husband's name is Jamie, mm -hmm. and um, they're going to be bringing in a lot of products for fall. She does a lot of primitive type, mm -hmm. um, I guess you would say home decor, um, holiday decor, that kind of thing, so oh. we're really happy to have her in here. Oh yeah, that'll be wonderful. Here's another oh, one, Here's Connie. another here's beautiful another one. one. Oh my goodness, I just... And she even did the little tags for me. They're beautiful. So we're kind of nicknaming her business Red House Primitives. So oh, I love that. I love that. Well, how about something that's in that um, you would consider to be tried and true? Something that just, it's always that the customers are um, looking for it. It's a bestseller of yours. The tried and true, I guess the, the number one, well, I hate to put anybody's number one, but um, there is a woman-owned company called Be Wicked out of Suffolk, mm -hmm. and the um, young stay-at-home mom created this in her spare time, and it has developed into a beautiful 
um, oh, yeah. fledgling company, I guess you would say. I she see. uses her own beeswax and honey to create her candles, her soaps. She's trying a little bit of everything. I, I love that she's being so brave and she's so she, really is she jumping a beekeeper? out there. Is she a beekeeper? Her husband is a beekeeper. That's amazing. I so had these are definitely tried and true. Absolutely. I laughed when you said a young mother with extra time. And I'm thinking, what? Where'd you find her? <laughs> I think it was when, uh, during nap time when they Maybe. were tiny. Those and are now beautiful. it's working out that she can stay at home and work at home and mm. develop her business. So, um, beautiful. As a few of my, uh, actually more than a few, are, um, they are stay-at-home moms mm -hmm. who are, have created these businesses. And they are go-getters. I'm really proud to have them in here. That's awesome. How about, um, let's pick one more thing. How about something that's your favorite? Or a staff favorite, something that you and your staff. A staff favorite that all of us use would be um, the lotions and soaps from the Country Soap Shop. And um, Mary Howell is the owner. She has a farm in Chesapeake. So she uses the sheep's milk for her soaps. She uses her goat's milk for the lotions. And I gotta tell you, I use both. They are amazing. She is an absolute delight to work with. Um, she's old school, but she does amazing products. And I came across them in a bakery. And she had a stand there. And so we actually reached out to her and she jumped right in. She was so happy to have her products in Smithfield. Wow. So this was her entry into Smithfield was through us. That's fantastic, and I love black raspberry and oh, vanilla, yeah. cashmere and cotton. Dream fields. Um, wonderful fragrance. I don't nice. have any in stock, but the uh, raspberry patchouli is my favorite soap, and my favorite lotion is the sun and sand, because it smells like those old days when we were on the beach with our moms and they were using copper tone oh, all the time. It smells just like it. Smells good. Oh, it smells, good. Oh, it smells just tone. like it. Yeah. So that would, I think, right off the bat, um, I've got so many, you know, um, actually at this point, it's all women artisans who are in the shop. And again, I'm so happy to be the one that is bringing them into this area. But um, I can't say anything but positive things about being here in Smithfield and how well I've been received, how much I've been welcomed. And I love, I love bringing people in here and telling them all about Smithfield. So it's been it's a, nothing but positive. It's a special place to be. Well, yes, it is. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much. Your thank shop you. is just, I love it. There's so many. I want to come in and want. You can't come here with 10 minutes to spare. You need at least 30 to 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. To you need to wander around. And everything. we hope it's even going to get better and better as there's more and more to look at and um, enjoy and hopefully take away. Oh, we absolutely. say it's things you need and you don't need, but you got to take them home. So. Oh, yes. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you, for coming in and visiting. Okay, have a wonderful weekend to come. Thank you. Too. Thank you.